What's up, everybody? Man, has it been a while since I've got a chance to record anything, and ugh, lots has been going on, but uh, wow, where have I even left off on this? That's the next big thing. But just a little bit of backstory, I apologize for the incredibly, insanely long delay. Uh, been kind of having some issues. I, I was real sick for a while, and uh, the entire time that I was sick, you know, the funniest thing I was thinking was, you know, I really hope I, I, I don't, like, die or something, because I would hate to have my unfinished business, if I have to come back as a ghost or something, be not beating Monkey Island 3. I mean, wouldn't that just be terrible? <laughs> But all joking aside, um, I've been wanting to get back to this for the longest time. Unfortunately, I've not been able to um, talk very well uh, for like the last month or so. So it's been difficult to, you know, get back to doing any recording. Uh, not 100% yet, but uh, good enough to give this a shot. So, where were we? Uh, we were talking to this dude. I think in the last video, we got all the stuff for the hangover cure. And I don't remember entirely what we're doing so tell me that whole ring story again yeah i don't really I did what whoops hey johns i don't really want to hear that again how can i get out to skull island well there used to be a regular ferry out to skull island used to ah one cold night so the tale goes the welshman set out in his dinghy the deep fog around skull isle obscured even the moon but the Welshman could see the distant light of the this Blood guy Island quite Lighthouse. A when he'd rode half the distance, <sighs> the light in the lighthouse was mysteriously smashed, and the poor Welshman was lost, almost never to be seen again. Uh, almost? Well, there are those who say that late at night, if you stare into the fog long enough, you may see the flying Welshman. Growing in his Instead of the flying Dutchman. <laughs> for all eternity. Creepy. Okay. This place sure is dead. Tell me about it. No guests, no food, no entertainment. If I weren't so insanely wealthy, I might get worried. Maybe if you booked some more entertainers. Just a shame. Sorry, I brought it up. Why don't you liven up the place? Let me into the guest room upstairs. That sounds like a good Would option. you let me into the guest room upstairs? No. It is locked for a reason. Let and... no man disturb the dark spirits who occupy that room. For a reason? But I want to. I want to deal with the dark spirits. Uh, Why don't you try to liven the place up a little? Well, that's quite a story. Years ago, this hotel was one of the hottest destinations in the Caribbean. Wow, People came blah, from blah. around the globe to see our world-famous dinner show. You may have noticed the oddly shaped barbecue out on the patio. Well, no. Well, that barbecue was the centerpiece of our nightly entertainment. Isn't a barbecue the central attraction of most sophisticated nightlife activities? <laughs> Maybe, but Is this no one else had a barbecue like this one. Every night, the guests would gather round on the patio, and at precisely six o'clock... It was a voodoo barbecue. <laughs> you make chewy, delicious s'mores. Scent-shattering fireworks. <laughs> Break out the charcoal lighter fluid. <laughs> uh... You'd break out the charcoal lighter fluid? No. Do you want to hear the story or not? Um, I'm sorry, I'm fascinated. Please, go on. Well, every night at precisely six o'clock, the volcano would erupt, and the lava would flow down the side of the mountain and into the special trough that runs beneath the barbecue. I see. The guests absolutely loved it. So what stopped it? <laughs> Isn't that some kind of fire hazard? Uh, but I kind of want to know what put an end to the magic. So what put an end to the magic? One day, the volcano just inexplicably stopped erupting. Without our main attraction, the resort just lost its appeal. We've gone downhill ever since. That's and no the volcano fun. hasn't erupted to this day. Tragic. Hmm. We don't really care about it. Um, well, maybe if you booked some more entertainers. I booked a juggling act here a while back, but that didn't work out. Rather a moody guy. Kept talking about suffering for his art and all that. The guests hated him. 
They actually cheered when he burst into flame during his firewalking act. <laughs> Fair enough. Maybe if you focused on Blood Island's rich history. What history? The island has a windmill and a lighthouse. There's not a whole lot to see. Nah, that's kind of true. Uh. Maybe you should get out of the hotel business. Good soups have always been in hotel management. Really? I've got to do my part to keep the dream alive. I really don't want to keep talking to this guy anymore. Drinks. That's stirring. Excuse me, stirring drinks. No, I meant. Never mind. Uh. Would you let me into the guest room upstairs? No, it is locked for a reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we know this. Eh, that's a shame. Sorry, I brought it up. Uh, we don't want the story. We don't want that. We don't want that. I don't believe we've met. Who are you? I am Griswold, last of the good soups and proprietor of this hotel. You know what's kind of funny? We kind of went a complete wrong direction. Resort empire that stretches across the Caribbean. Well, 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 well. Oh, this was once our proudest resort. In recent years, however, hard times have befallen the family good soup and left me alone in this rotting hotel. The Aww. good soup plantation resort hotel and casino. Hypothetically, how'd one get into your aunt's tomb? Where did that come from? Uh, hypothetically, how would one Whatever. get into your aunt's tomb? It, it seems like the logical choice. have to die. Oh, crud. <laughs> Alright, so apparently I've got to die, which works out because if I do recall, I have the death tarot cards, and that was the whole thing that was happening over there, so... I'm Let's off the hell to explore the rustic charms of Blood Island. Okay. I feel like... Okay. That's right, that's right. Okay, so I got the umbrella in my drink last time. We've got the head be clear. We have a cushion, a measuring cup, an auger. Block of tofu. Big whoop. Alright, so we got the mallet, we got the nail. Because I was trying to remember where I left off with dealing with things upstairs. Because... I know there's a couple of things in which to do. Wait, can I steal his jar? Yoink. I can. That jar's for my tips. Put it back. Oh. But I was going to put a whole lot of money in it. Too much for me to carry around with me. So I'm going to have to take it with me and fill it up. Oh, okay then. <laughs> Uh, you know what? What else do I have that's usable right now? It's of any value. Okay. So, if I recall from before, what I was trying to do is prove to him that I'm a something or another. Uh, blah, blah, blah. This is why I hate such massive delays, and I'm sure you guys do too. And for I that, I to certainly apologize. The charms I, of Blood Island. It was definitely not by choice. So what is this all about? Hmm. We can go in this one, right? Or is this the locked one? No, this is right. That's how we got the thing off the wall. So we got old portraits. It's a bunch of old portraits of the Van Salad family. And I thought the good soups were a homely bunch. Hehe. <laughs> Van Salads. There's something I'm trying to do, and I'm... Portrait. It's Count Gaspacho Goodsu, the cold hearted canning magnet. Hmm. It's the Duchess Cream of Good Soup. Of the Noodle Good Soups. <laughs> cream of Good Soup. Okay, um. Da -da -da, da -da -da. I'm trying to think. I know I can do something. I don't want to cut that. I don't want to cut that. Yes, you do. How about this one? I don't want to cut that. Mm, yes, I do. I don't want to cut that. I don't want to cut that. Somewhere along the line, yes, I do want to cut things. Okay. That. Go back in here. Come on. Let's see. Hmm. 
have something in my brain that I want to accomplish here, but I'm just not quite sure the best way to go about it. So, I don't think I want to be in here. Why do I feel like this should be interactable? I don't know why, it's just bugging me. Like, I should be able to do something with that. Hmm. I'm not certain. So whatever I'm doing has to do with this guy. And he really didn't have any other options for me here. <laughs> Again, how would one get into your kindly aunt's tomb? I suppose you would have to die. Hmm. I'm off to explore the rustic charms of Blood Island. So how can I kill myself? I suppose that's the best option. So, want to kill me? More death cards, please. Madam Zima, I... Be gone. You will bring death to all who surround you. No good can come of this. Well, that's actually kind of what I wanted to talk to you about, lady. Um, hmm. Boy, oh boy. Um, so, this one? It's locked. Of course it is. You can't go in there. I like the old dog. Um, any tools I can take? Any anything I can do? I'm kind of grasping here. Mm, no. Hmm. Well, let me see. Let's think about this for a second. What do I have in my inventory that I can put together? I have a tip jar. Can I do it with the tip jar? That's the jar lid. So I have a lid for the jar. Should be able to do something with it. I have recipes. I have a map. I have tarot cards. Sure. I don't want to cut that. No. I don't want to cut that. I don't want to cut. I don't want to cut that. I want to cut everything. Hmm. I gotta get away from that dog. He's really annoying. Let's see. I also have... Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. Because it just kind of seems like everything I've got going on should have something to do with talking to that guy. So that's a shipwreck. That's Elaine. Hi, Elaine. I don't think she can hear me. Uh, she probably can. and She's going to whoop you later. Uh, how about the village? I mean, is there... Anything I can do here. Hello. Can you sacrifice me? Mm -hmm. What does your guest look like again? I've never seen him, but he should be dressed for the ceremony. Okay, I also need to be I'll, whatever uh, this see is. You around. So what would I need to be wearing to be dressed for the ceremony? Can I have this mask? can't reach it. Mm, no. Damn it, Guybrush! <sighs> Wait, can I take fruits and vegetables? Well, I haven't gotten any use for this fruit. Could make a little headdress and do something. <sighs> I am just grasping at anything here, guys. I am not sure where I left off. Because I'm pretty sure whatever it is... Yeah, there is nothing of value in here ever to begin with. Maybe I can, like, eat the processed cheese and die or something. I can't pick up that entire wheel of... Hmm. Alright, dude, talk to me again. There's got to be something we're missing. I'm off to explore the rustic charms of Blood Island. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. 
Oh, no. That's what I was thinking. Ouch! Doing. Here's your glass back. Uh huh. That's what I was missing the whole time, maybe. So. Can I use this? Let's just. Let's just, um. The bottle's closed. So I never actually gave him the stuff. I see. What can we use to open the bottle? Use the chisel to open the bottle? That opened it. <laughs> so all this time... Thank you, but my head is completely clear now. You keep the rest. Okay. Well, that's fine. So, will you please let me do this? Thank you, game, for being so amazing. Oh! I'd like a drink. Let's do I'd this. I'd like a drink, please. Coming right up. Boom. This is just grog. That makes the drink oh so much more appealing. So, can we get him to drink it? I'm not sure what I just did, but it seems... I keep opening my damn inventory. Hmm. Maybe it'll kill me. I'm off to explore. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. We got life. that part. I wish I can skip some dialogue options because that would be fantastic. It just occurred to me that mixing medicine and alcohol is a really stupid and possibly lethal thing to do. Yes. If I were a real person instead of a lovably inept cartoon character with the potential for a few more sequels, I wouldn't even consider it. Do it. Skull. <laughs> That's odd. It's supposed to cause drowsiness. I don't feel the least bit drowsy. Wait. In fact, I, uh... <laughs> in fact, I feel, uh... Nice. <laughs> and the guy behind the counter just doesn't care. He's like, ah, whatever. So then the Undertaker says, I wanted to be a pallbearer. But I couldn't stop coughing. Oh, 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 you crack me up more. <laughs> that poor guy I was. with a new guy. Oh, he's been like that for an hour now. <laughs> Passed out cold. He'll come around. I don't know. I'm pretty sure he's dead. Hmm. <laughs> I guess that's the end of the game then. What with him being the main character and all. Funny. I didn't think you could die in LucasArts Adventure Games. Well, maybe they're trying something different. When I should take care of him. Would you? It's bad for business having him just lie there. Rest uh, in peace and all that. Rest in peace and all that. Okay. The end. <laughs> Alright, guys. Well, that's it now. No, that's not. Jeez, Kurt's hey. so <laughs> I'm not really dead. <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny. Oh, come on. Cut it out. Listen to the music. <laughs> Come on, cut it out. Oh, damn. Um, so, how do I get out of the coffin? Um, I don't know. Uh, nail coffin now? I, um... I'm honestly not sure at the moment because nothing is interactable. Oh, na, na, da, 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 da. there's got to be something. Use the magic wand. Abracadabra, get me out of the box. Hmm. Well then. Hmm. There's got to be something. There's got to be something. I can't get out of here. Oh my god. Wait, hold on. What else is in the room? Scan, 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 anything? Anything? Come on, this is ridiculous. Wait, coffin. Hello? Help! So. It won't open. I'm trapped. Uh, why is it that if I 
mouse over like the bottom here it's letting me interact with something but not where I actually am or maybe I'm not in this one maybe I'm in this one ah. it sure is dark okay well that's the main uh, misconception there I thought I was in the middle because why that wouldn't you be but I guess I'm just in this box right here so yeah da -da -da -da. let's try I can't use the mallet with that yeah I didn't think so what else do I have I have a pin magic wand I don't really have a lot that doesn't need to be augured that doesn't need to be augured yeah um no <laughs> well my options are pretty much just go through absolutely everything I have but hmm it's kinda like I don't have what's necessary to make this work I'm like shouldn't I have a crowbar or something no <laughs> no no, no. Guy brush is just no. Hmm, there's gotta be something else. Hmm. Where are we going? It's so awkward that it's like down here. It won't open. I'm trapped. It sure is dark. Help! Help, help! Help! Yeah, that's that's all you got? Seriously? Hmm. Let's see. I can't yell out. Son of a... That doesn't need to be lathered up. That doesn't need to be lathered up. That doesn't need to be lathered up. No. That doesn't need to be lathered up. 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 No, it doesn't. All right, well, I'm going to figure out how the hell to get out of this coffin. Uh, I feel like I'm missing something important. But I'm just not sure. Like, I can't use the skeleton arm with that. Why not? I can't use I can't use the skeleton arm with that. It just kind of seems like the skeleton I, arm I would be appropriate. Um I don't want to pin that. I don't want to pin that. No, I just want to get out of it. Here, we'll pry it open with These some still can't do much to wooden boards. These still can't do much to wood. I don't really have anything that can do much to wooden boards. That's the point. Here, umbrella. I can't use the umbrella. I can't use the umbrella with that. Well, obviously. So a measuring cup. I'm gonna do a block of. A sixty-pound block of tofu won't help here. <laughs> no, not really. Uh, that doesn't look hungover at all. Uh, I don't think the lid will fit that. I don't think the lid will fit. No, I don't think so either. I can't use the magnet with that. I can't use the magnet with that. There's like nothing else that's interactable in here though. It's so weird. And since I don't have a uh... I've got a mallet and a nail. This will be perfect as soon as I find something to use them with. No. Yeah. Well, a mallet and a nail isn't going to help my current situation. It's because of probably a mallet and a nail that I'm in this situation. Hmm. I swear to God, guys, I don't know if I'm just stupid or what, but there's only one interactable thing in here, and it's the coffin in the bottom corner. So not even anything else. Like, blah, 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 yeah, you can see. It's like there's just nothing else that's interactable. Just that. And I've exhausted all options. Help! So I can Help! yell forever, and Help! nobody's going to care. There doesn't seem to be anything out there. There's nothing else interactable here. The only option is the coffin or whatever I have in my... Fortune telling won't work with that. No. That doesn't need a gold tooth. That doesn't need a gold tooth. Not many things do need a gold tooth. Uh... I can't use the cork with that. I can't use the cork yeah, with what that. what the hell do I do with a cork? How about a balloon? I can't use a balloon with that. Nope. This is only for reading. Hmm. Bag of nickels. That doesn't take wooden nickels. Magic wand. Open sesame. Are Darn. you kidding me? Open sesame. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> I was gonna say, if that actually worked, I'd be pretty ticked off. <laughs> like, really? Hmm. What can I do? Wait. 
I should have thought about this. I have his chisel. Son of a... Damn it! <laughs> that took way too long to think of and figure out. This is... This is why I need to start getting sleep again. Yikes. Alright. Where's that telltale pounding coming from? It's coming from within one of these coffins. I bet it's the one in the middle. From the dead. The dead that surround me. They must know my horrible secret. They'll never let me rest until I've paid for the wrongs I've committed against. Wait a second. I don't have a horrible secret. I don't know why, but I just don't see that as a chisel. I see it as like a pick or something, and it just... My brain didn't associate. Just don't judge it. it. Looks like it can be used as a crowbar, though, so that's fine. Survey says, who do we have in this box? Phew, I'm glad to be finally out of that thing. Oh. Even though it was a spacious, comfortable model with plenty of leg and head. My God. Oh, hello there. Say, you look familiar. Uh, yes, <laughs> well... Uh... Of course, Guybrush Threepwood. You're the one who locked me in there in the first place. Well, you see, I've been meaning to... No, no, I won't hear of it. That was the best time of my life. Gave me plenty of time to think, you know? To think about the things that really matter. I don't know if you've considered this, son, but live burials are not an altogether uncommon experience here in the Caribbean. I wasn't aware of that. <laughs> not to mention pirate raids and deadly sea battles, huge man-eating reptiles, dangerous quicksand... He's going to start selling life insurance. Lists, and of course, those pesky undead. Have you ever thought of what would happen to your loved ones should this gruesome fate befall you? No, but... <laughs> well, of course, you have plenty of time to think about it. Or do you? <laughs> I'm one of the lucky ones. I've been dead. It's given me a whole new perspective on life. A life that I'm going to devote to making sure people's life insurance needs are met. Here, take one you of my business cards. You guys can't see it, but I'm face palming. So bad. If you've been locked in that coffin, how are you able to have business cards made? Now's not the time to worry about the technicalities, son. <laughs> Now's the time to ask yourself, <laughs> are you covered? Run along now and let me set up my office. Mm -hmm. We're trapped in here. The door's locked. Nonsense! This is one of Stan's cozy crypts, all equipped with a patented secure lock release mechanism. Just jiggle the handle there. Are you kidding? <laughs> I can't believe this. I love the throwback to Monkey Island too, though. That is amazing. Well. Alright guys, I think this is an excellent stopping point, only because I've already made uh, an idiot of myself by spending way too much time trying to figure out how to get out of that coffin. Uh, so before I embarrass myself anymore, I'm just going to bail, and uh, we'll be back with more. So thanks for watching, everybody. I really apologize again for the delays. Uh, I'm really just hoping to get this series out of here, uh, get it done, get it complete, and then what to do next, I have no idea, but hopefully it'll be something. Always looking for suggestions from you guys, so be sure to let me know in the comments below what's on your mind, and we'll see you next time.